welcome back to another vlogmas video <laughs> anyway so this is episode number four and my name is tasha if you guys are new here i make mom related content here on youtube as well as tiktok and on my blog all the links will be in the description box so go check that out um but yeah so today is an exciting vlog because we got my girl zaria here i'm a mother hey y'all <laughs> from Houston uh, she came in for a day trip so we're here just chilling and then of course this is her first time meeting baby boy we got major in the cut as well um so Zarya's on her mommy shit today um but yeah okay, so what? my mommy shit what what mommy shit because it is you know you ain't gonna put that in the vlog I think I will mm, that'll be a step that will be a step but anyway <laughs> so you can um, tell you the so real me, real Tasha. I know Malik always be saying, Tasha, why you be acting that way? And I'm like, I'm like, no offense, but it's my mom. <laughs> like, she's like, she's like, Tasha, don't talk like that. Like, Tasha, do this. And I'm like, okay. But anyway, so yeah, right now we are waiting outside to go to this place called Honeyberry for brunch. Um, so yeah, so I guess when we get inside and we start eating, I will catch y'all again. We have so many exciting things planned while she's here for these next couple of hours. Um, I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. So, yeah. <laughs> brunch from one to a ten um it's definitely not the best place we've been to mm -hmm. um i would say a six yeah i would seven. give it you gave it a seven i would at least give it an eight it was pretty good no we've been to way better places than that way better mm -hmm. okay yeah we have it's especially that good. one that one chicken and Look waffle place that we went to that one time mm, yeah yeah <laughs> Oh my god, yes, downtown Dallas. Yeah, in the downtown Dallas in the like the one arts mm, plaza. Yes. That food, perfect. But those pancakes though. wasn't even really hidden. Yeah, the pancakes weren't that good. But with no. me, I think the reason why I gave it eight was only because of the you eggs. Like the, eggs yep. the eggs and the hash browns were really good. But the pancakes, if I were to rate the pancakes, I'd rate it a five. Yeah, the go, pancakes, just, you, just they were Waffle House. No, for real. Waffle House is where it's at. Because, I mean, I was not thrilled. <laughs> and it's so surprising because guess what in my previous vlog i did eat waffle house and i did vlog that yeah go to waffle house y'all yeah i could have did an all-star special no for real <laughs> <laughs> oh and it would have been slamming too but mm -hmm. we would have been like tired afterwards like that's yeah. the itis right there right now i'm not that tired mm -hmm. so that's good but anyway so we're about to go to the next spot and i'll let you guys know what that is when we get there bye bye <laughs> So, as I just showed you, we drove all the way over here thinking that we would be able to do this perfume um, activity. So, basically, it was going to be us, per like, creating our own perfumes. And they're closed. Down bad. And down bad. And we were so excited to do this activity. And now we are just sitting here trying to find something looking else crazy. to do. No, no, for real. Looking crazy. Y'all. Cause it's so hard to find something to do on a Sunday. 
especially when you don't plan ahead because we we could like we were thinking about doing this other thing that looked really cool it was like a fluid art type thing but it started at three it is like 306 right now and it was literally across town like it was in frisco so yeah so now we're just looking for things in our general area um yeah 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 okay y'all so zari is introducing me to new things so we're doing some grounding okay so we're taking our our shoes off i'm about to take my <laughs> socks off and do this grounding and we of course we got little man over here doing some tummy time yes you know we'll see how this goes but let's ground together <laughs> So we just finished grounding. How did grounding go for you? Grounding was good. Um, it helped us become creative because we sat in the parking lot for damn near 35 minutes trying to figure out what to do. And then right when we grounded, Tasha was like, oh, we should do this. And I was like, oh, great idea. But now it's just too late. Too late. But we'll do it in Houston. Mm -hmm. That's when. So you guys will see a whole nother vlog with us later on when we go to Houston, when I go to Houston. And we see each other a lot, actually, because I'd be going to Houston for, what, three times a year or two times a year? Oh one of those. Yeah. Well, you know me. I love Houston. Yeah, you do, girl. I'd be out there. Plus, I like to travel. Well, I'm trying to escape. You know. <laughs> She's trying to escape. I'm trying <laughs> to go there. But, yeah. So, grounding was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. And, honestly, yeah, just like she said, it was, like, it got our creative juices flowing. Mm-hmm. We probably should have did it, like an hour ago <laughs> yeah that would have been good yeah but and productive. no for real because we were literally sitting in the car on tiktok and i kind of got distracted a little bit then i started scrolling on instagram yeah well we definitely got us some content no we did no we did mm -hmm. but yeah now we're gonna go to wendy's because fun fact about us our first outing was to wendy's she literally hit me up and was like, do you want to go to Wendy's? <laughs> and I literally was like, and this, I didn't even know her yet. I knew her through my roommate, because my first roommate, mm -hmm. and I knew her through her. So I was just like, she's asked me to go out without her. Like, is this, is it going to be fun? Is it going to, yeah, ever since then, we've been linked up. <laughs> we've been linked up ever since. I was yes. like, Zari is fun. <laughs> and we just vibe off each other. So yeah. For sure. Conversation be flowing. I literally just told Brianna about that the other day. Mm -hmm. About how we um, bonded over um, Wendy's. And then um, you got mad at me. And I was like, B, don't slam my door. And I then know. you showed it to my dorm. And was like, frosty. I just thought this would make it better. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day. I was over here like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I was on my period. I was going through something. I don't you know. You know what you said? What? You're just pissing me off because you keep telling me I should eat vegetables. <laughs> no, for real. Yes, because you guys are both getting on me. About eating vegetables. About eating vegetables yeah. and like eating better. Mm -hmm. And my dumb butt was like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like, I want to eat what I want to eat. And then got into a whole argument. <laughs> literally slammed her door. She leaves me. <laughs> leaves me. The other girl over here talking to me, talking about, Tasha, you shouldn't have acted that way. And I'm over here cursing her out. I even called her a bee. Like, I was like, da, da, da. then we arguing. Then I get in the car and I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. So then I got to apologize to that girl. Then I'm over here like, oh, this is going to be awkward between me and Zaria. So then I'm like, let me go to Wendy's. 
as a peace offering. As a peace offering. Girl, that was so funny, girl. Yes, and then we get together. I give you the Wendy's, but you giving me a bad vibe because you upset at me already. Girl, what then we talking me? about it? You can't. <laughs> You can't piss me off and just think you go. Because what you really trying to do? No, I literally, I was like, let me slide in one more time. Let me see if this works. Obviously it worked. Because we were, so yes. And we were newly friends at that time, yes. too. So you probably were like, this this girl is no, crazy. I, yeah, I just thought she was crazy, honestly. I just went back to Mozart and I was just like, crazy ass. <laughs> and you know what? She right. She right. I was. I was. I was in my feelings. Girl. Oh my god. That and it's so funny. crazy because this all happened outside of Malik's job. Remember? Yeah, at the psych ward. Yeah, at the psych ward. Who should have been there? <laughs> <And> Malik. <laughs> we over here arguing outside Malik's job. Malik don't even know what's going on. Oh my god. That is so damn funny, girl. Girl, memories. Oh, so funny. Oh my god. Yes. What a time. I'm saying. Girl, I just, uh, when you slammed that door, it just it just took me, girl, I was just like, I cannot believe this girl just slammed my damn door like this. Yeah, she slammed it loud, too. I was like, over a vegetable? No. That's the thing. I feel like anytime I get ganged up on, I get, like, super, like, emotional. Because I'm like, like, I feel like I probably wouldn't have acted that way if it was just you saying that. But, like, the other girl was there, and I was yeah. over here, like... Y'all both saying it. I can't defend myself because anytime I say something to defend myself, y'all twist my words and y'all like, no, Tasha, don't. That's not, no. And I'm like, dang, it's two against one. No, this is the thing. Tasha, like, you tell her eat vegetables. She like, I do eat corn. <laughs> I do, eat, I do corn. eat potatoes. Like, girl, are you kidding me right now? And you know what? I'm still on the same side. That's why yo, do you'll be like, I eat lettuce. I'm like, girl, lettuce is literally just the crunch. It has no nutritional value. And I Girl. didn't know that. I thought it was green. So I ate it. And it was good. No, but I mean, it's a vegetable. But just the fact that, like, you would tell Tasha to eat vegetables and she'll bring up a corn and potato. No. No, for it's real. It's just so damn crazy to me. I'm a starchy food girl. Like. <laughs> And the thing is, I feel like I'm so passionate about my food that I'd be, like, fighting. Because I'm like, you tell me I can't eat this no more? Like, it just be making me so sad. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, that's true. That's true. And it's so funny because now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should listen to those conversations in college because, girl, I gained so much weight <laughs> <laughs> from eating how I wanted to eat, oh you know? So if your friends are out there telling you to eat better, do it because you're going to gain that freshman 30, oh 50. Girl, I feel like I gained freshman 30. I skipped the 15. I went straight to the 30. Girl. And then that post-college weight, girl, that we all went through. Girl, yes. Once COVID hit. Oh, yes, COVID really got us messed up. Especially if you're an emotional eater, too. Because mm -hmm. I'm an emotional eater. Yeah. Like, even right now, I was just like, let's go get dessert. <laughs> but we about to go to right. dinner. <laughs> we, we, couldn't find, we couldn't find a place. Sasha was like, we should just go get dessert, right? <laughs> I'm like, the place we're going to is giving us three desserts. And he was like, oh, <laughs> what'd you say? He said, my, my, um. My butt gonna go crazy today, tonight. I What'd guess. you say? No, I said I'm gonna be lit tonight. Oh, yeah, my butt's gonna be lit tonight. <laughs> Girl. No, for real. That's the crazy. But then, low key, look, every, when we're looking up things to do on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me why it was just showing us food places. Right. So, we're not the only people who do that. Like, when we're thinking, oh, let's do something fun, what and does Texas that include? Food. Eat. Yes. Oh, my God. And especially, I mean, I don't know. Do you feel like Houston and da Houston and Dallas are the same when it comes to food? Like, just food everywhere? Honestly, yes. Actually, no. Yes, yes. Girl, Houston just has so much damn food. Like, if you don't do nothing, you're going to eat. That's another thing. And I feel like the same thing with Dallas because I think Dallas is up and coming when it comes to, like, things. Like, they're, like, broadening. Like, there's more businesses coming up. Yeah. So, I definitely think it's, like, a food, food type of, like, you know place to be because nowadays because i looked up i used the hashtag things to do dallas texas guess what at 80 percent, 90 percent was all restaurants 10 percent was oh let's do the the paint and sip or yeah the the yeah. perfume thing you were trying to do you know oh but most of it 80 90 percent every time you look up things to do in your city i'm i'm bet you it's mostly food yeah that definitely killed the vibe yeah bring the oh no i did not bring the body uh -huh. okay no, i'm sorry no problem yeah but yeah so yeah but this is so relaxed oh my god the sun feels so good it does feel good the temperature is great no it is great and it's like it's like perfect 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 mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I think the baby's enjoying it too. Yeah, he's chilling. If you guys are wondering where Major's at, he's right here. Yep. Hi. Just chilling. But yeah, we're about to head to go get some Frosties because what time is it? Four or five. Yeah. Yeah, we might as well head right there because then we, after that we have to go to the restaurant. Yeah. Because we have reservations at five. Sounds good. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we see you. <laughs> <laughs> Got our Frosties. <laughs> all right y'all so we just made it to our last destination for the night before zaria goes home so we are at casa palastro or polostro and it's like a how do you probably describe it like what kind of food italian right is it italian i think it um, is yeah Let's so i think it's Let's yeah. put it on the screen yeah but basically the concept is it's all, all you can eat and then they bring out i believe it's four courses hi and um yes like you could try all these different things and yeah um i don't know what to say i don't know how to explain it right now y'all i'm sorry yeah let me see <laughs> that's pretty much it <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out what type i think it's italian but i don't know No, Brazil. Oh, wow. Southern Brazil. Okay. So, Brazil makes love cheese. Yeah. Yes, there's so. a lot of cheese Thank dishes. You. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so Brazil, all you can eat. It's located in Dallas, Texas, if y'all want to go try it out and test it out. Um, yeah. I'm so excited to eat the food. And right now, we're waiting for all the other people to get here because we're doing like a quick little college reunion so we invited some of our friends well all of our friends from college basically mm -hmm. that we used to like hang out with and stuff so yeah and they should all be here so yeah I'll show you guys the surroundings Enjoy this vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>